Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, uh, we're going to make a puzzle. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We will press on the code. Oh, by the way, we've got a new version called CAT. You're welcome to come in and check that out. We'll hit the code section right here, and we will copy the template. We'll pop on in to Zim. Let's reduce this down. It's reduced. And paste the template in there. Whoosh. And what shall we call this one? How about Zim? Code a puzzle in five minutes. Yeah, I like that. So we do have here in the code in five minutes an asset. And that asset is called, mm, let's see, Dr. Abstract, I think. But I don't see, oh yeah, we renamed it Puzzle for, for the ease. <laughs> of course, we would have found it right away if we didn't rename it. But we called it Puzzle. So we're ready to go in the code here. We're going to, we're even going to count that uh, bringing in the asset as part of the coding time. Why not? And we are going to make a puzzle in five minutes. Are you ready? Let's start the timer then. Starting! And that puzzle was called, uh, or that asset was called Puzzle. Gotta get my fingers going. Puzzle.jpg, like that. And it happens to be in a path called Assets, plural, like that. We're going to load that into the frame. So we'll get rid of our circle stuff that's there. And uh, we'll prepare ourselves for our thumbs. We're going to make a bunch of thumbnails, or uh, short thumbs, is equal to an array. We're also going to give it um, var calls uh, equal to um, three and rows equal to three as well. I think I'm behind. Rows is equal to three. We can do it. Minus three. <laughs> there, we did it. Was that five minutes yet? <laughs> and so our image is going to be equal to this asset at uh, puzzle. Puzzle dot jpeg like that okay so that's a reference to our image there but we're going to pop that up and we're going to set a uh we're going to use the width and height over again so the width is equal to image dot width and the height is equal to var h is equal to image dot height like so all right now if we loop um, through the the rows and the calls so we'll loop rows comma we'll call a function and in that function we'll collect the row and then inside here we're going to loop uh, calls and uh, call a function and we'll receive the call okay so that gives us our loop within a loop and then we can thumb hopefully you can see this okay thumbs dot push um a new bitmap from this now the trick is to cut up the puzzle pieces what we'll do is we'll use the image, but we're going to do a width and a height. Um, and, and that's just these like small uh, puzzle pieces. Well, that's the whole width and the height. Let's see, is that right? Uh, whole width and a height. I think we got to divide these things by the columns. So we'll divide by the calls. And this one's got to be divided by the rows. There, that looks better. And now we're going to make little puzzle pieces out of the parts, but those parts have to move. So that would be the column time, the which column we're on times the width, and which uh, row we're on times the height, I think. And let's see. So what do we got next? Seems pretty good. Boop, 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 boop. We'll make a tile from this. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We'll make a tile um, from these. And so that looks like this. Var <coughs> tile is equal to a new tile. And we can just specify our array thumbs if we make it unique. Thumbs, making it unique. And for the thumbs, we, we also want to say the calls, this is how many calls and rows our tiles have. Calls and rows. Our spacing can be zero, zero. And then this one is the new one called unique. And that means it'll pull from that array and make unique pieces from it. So if we were to add that, we would see it. But we can toss it into what's called a scrambler now. So var pick is equal to, or that will end up being the puzzle, a new scrambler, like so. And uh, let's see, what will we pass into the scrambler? The tile. 
basically, I think, tile, and we'll dot center that whole thing. So Scrambler is new to Zimcat, which is the latest version. And let's have a look. Oh, will it work? Will it work? Will it work? Will it work? Open in browser if I can find. I don't have an open in browser. Oh, there it is, open in browser. Yes, look at that. We have a puzzle, but we don't know if it's complete. So let's um, do that. We can say pick, or that should probably have been puzzle, pick dot on complete. Eh. Uh, call this function. Yes, uh, that should do it. Pick dot on complete. And what can we do? We can um, take the image. What was the image called initially? Image image dot center um, and then we can say tile or is it pick dot remove pick dot remove from and let's stop that timer boop, boop, boop. Oh, we might need a stage dot update stage dot update in there and let's stop the timer boom 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 huh. Did what would get to four minutes and forty seconds or something like that? All right, let's um, let's try her out, shall we? And we refresh here. There it is. Uh, let's try this tile. Isn't that neat? So this is a scrambler. It scrambles it up for you. And then, uh, <laughs> well, okay. I think we got to get a, a hand somewhere. But what's up in that top corner? That's ah, oh, that's the top corner. Okay, the hand on the bottom. The cat on uh, there, and we're almost there. Uh, something's just not quite right. Oh, yes. Woohoo! And see that? It just turned into the picture. So the scrambler is gone. And if you wanted to, we could drag on that picture or spin it around. And we solved the puzzle. That's amazing. Isn't this cool? So um, that has been, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Code in five minutes with Zim! Woohoo! Yeah, you guys take it easy. Maybe we'll do some more of these code in five minutes. Check out the earlier ones and come join us at zimjs.com slash slack. <laughs>